It's a great time to be alive. The Word of God says in the book of Luke 21 and verse 11, There will be great earthquakes, and there will be famines, and plagues in many lands, and there will be terrifying things, and great miraculous signs from heaven. First of all, I want to thank God that so far, there has not been anyone tested with the coronavirus or COVID-19 in Belize. All over the world, COVID-19 has caused borders to be closed, cities to shut down, health systems to be overwhelmed, schools to be closed, and millions to be out of jobs or working from their homes. Social distancing is being discussed in Korea. I believe that in the United States, it's been limited to groups of 10. Fear has gripped the heart of many. This morning I was listening to the governor of New York in his press conference. He said, and I quote, We're fighting on two fronts. We're fighting the virus and fear. Fear is more dangerous than the virus. He went on to say, Fear and panic are as contagious as the virus. End of quote. As believers, it's important to remember that the Word of God says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a strong mind. So what is our response to COVID-19? First of all, hold on to the promise, the promise that God has given us. The Word of God says the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run into it and are saved. That's the NIV translation. Secondly, be wise enough to take the preventive measures that are recommended to us by the health professionals. I would like to remind all that there is a big difference between faith, foolishness, and presumption. Here we believe our government has taken some preventive measures, which include the closing of schools as of this Friday, also, they have asked that there not be gatherings of more than 100. Some of you have been asking, what will TFOCC be doing about our services? First of all, I would like to make it clear that we want to be obedient to those in authority, as well as obedient to God, who tells us in the book of Hebrews 10 and verse 25, not to forsake the assembly of yourselves. This Friday, you the place, is on as usual. It's going to be a night of worship. The fundraiser for the building that was scheduled for this coming Friday has been postponed. The baseball game scheduled for this weekend has also been put on hold by our baseball director. But we are having a Sunday celebration service as usual. There are some changes. This Sunday I invite you to come out. I will be preaching on the message not afraid. We will be meeting in five different rooms simultaneously, 10.30 as usual. The preschoolers are going to meet in the Westville room, six and seven year old in the nursery, eight and ten year old in the Amazing Grace room, 11 to 15 years old in the kitchen that is under construction, and 16 and adults will meet in the main sanctuary. Please go to your meeting room as soon as you arrive. Our ushers will direct you to your room. There will be hand sanitizer placed in each room that you can use. Our cleaning staff will see that all the rooms are sanitized and clean. We will be discouraging social hugging and shaking of hands. So this Sunday, if we don't shake your hands, it's not because we don't love and appreciate you, but we are using wisdom. All of our other services, such as prayer in Asintabil, and prayer in Punta Gorda will continue as scheduled unless the government decides something else. If you are 65 or over, we do encourage you to stay home and watch the service via Facebook Live. Our service can be viewed Facebook Live, you go to TFOCC Church or visit our website which is tfocbc.com. You can also view it on my Facebook page or our media director's page Patrick Jones. Service is uploaded on YouTube and you can access it via the website as soon as the service is over. There are two WhatsApp groups that are being created. One is for church members and one for all of the directors. 
please be sure to give us your WhatsApp number so that we can stay in touch. This is a time that I would like to remind all the members of TFOTC that we are a family and we are a brother's keeper. If you know somebody that needs prayer or you need prayer, please be sure to let us know. Or whatever the need is, we will do our best with the resources that we have. I would like to close with a quote from John Wesley that said, The best thing of all is God with us. And the psalmist David, Psalm 27, 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Thank you and God bless you.